The long-awaited debut of LaMelo Ball occurred on Saturday, as the Charlotte Hornets opened up preseason play by hosting the Toronto Raptors. I honestly feel bad for this kid, it seems like he's been in the media ever since he was around 10 years old. But in his debut, the number 3 overall pick scored 0 points. So what does this all mean? What's up guys and welcome to Hoop City. Today we're talking about LaMelo Ball and his debut in the preseason. And the key word is preseason. Although he had zero points, it is still just early in his NBA career and he has a lot of time to get better and improve on his game. And in his first 16 minutes of NBA action, he actually impressed. He hauled in 10 rebounds and dished out 4 assists, which just shows he can affect the game without even scoring. LaMelo Ball's rebounding is somewhat overlooked which doesn't make much sense since he's one of the tallest point guards in the league now. So it should have been pretty obvious that he would be able to get some rebounds and potentially in the future could average some of the most rebounds per game for point guards in the league. Similar to his brother, as soon as he grabbed a rebound, he looked to pass immediately to start a fast break. However, he himself was not in attack mode. He didn't seem to really care to score much or go for points. Which isn't a bad thing, but when you're the number 3 overall pick for the Charlotte Hornets who have struggled for years, you gotta come out and put on a show. And I feel like he will get better at this in the future, and he will learn that he has to take over the game sometimes and do things his own way. But for right now, he is still a rookie and probably not even in the starting lineup at this point, but this is all in the future. But what he did show was his passing ability. He was credited with only 4 assists, but showed off his court vision throughout his time on the court with a number of flashy passes. But the most impressive thing about LaMelo Ball's debut is his comfortability on the court. He didn't seem phased at all by the big lights or NBA players. He seemed calm and collected while he was on the court and while he was handling the ball, which is a good sign for Hornets fans as this shows he is ready for anything. Now this might be a little too early to say, but it does scare me a little bit that he only attempted three shots. LaMelo Ball has never been the pure scorer. I feel like he gets that rep from his days at Chino Hill, where he was just dropping points on lesser competition. So it will be interesting to see what he does now in the NBA. His floaters are probably his best offensive weapon, but it will be interesting to see if he will change his shot similar to his brother, and it will be even more interesting to see if his shot is broken similar to his brother's was when he joined the league. But in my opinion, he came out and looked better than his brother already. And I truly believe that LaMelo Ball will be the best Ball brother by far. I feel like many people forget how young this kid was when we first started hearing about him. 13, 14 years old, and being able to compete with some of the best high school players in California. And then at 16, moved to Lithuania to play against grown men. This kid has been through a lot in his basketball career thus far, and it's finally good to see him in a comfortable position, moving forward and getting better at his game. He doesn't have to deal with the dysfunction of the JBL, or move overseas again like he did when he opted to play in Australia. And hopefully now LaMelo Ball can grow into the greatest player he can be. In my opinion, I hope he becomes similar to a Pete Maravich. Some of you may not know who that is, but one of the most interesting players who ever played basketball. There are stories that he pretty much co-opted the flashy play of basketball. Prior to him, it was pretty much two-hand passes and bounce passes. But once he started doing behind the back and no-look passes, it became a trend in the league. And I see a lot of that in LaMelo. And only time will tell. Thanks for